Hello friends. We are getting ready to haul up here at Parsons Landing. There's a nice light morning breeze, so we're gonna enjoy a nice slow sail. Got the motor running just to make sure we stay up these rocks after we haul up the anchor. Then we're gonna kill it and just uh, sail to our next anchorage, which is gonna be incredible. Um, not sure where we're going yet. We're either gonna go to Doctor's Cove or Big Geiger. Uh, we'll do a sail by Doctor's Cove and see if we wanna go ashore there. Otherwise, we'll push for Big Geiger. All right, time to get the hook up. Got the anchor up. Managed to not get stuck in any kelp, which I'm stoked about. Now we're just enjoying this morning breeze. Coast on down around the point here and um, move on. slowly sailing up on Doctor's Cove. <clears throat> I think we're gonna spend the night here. Looks like there's one boat there already. It's, it's a very small spot, so I guess it depends on how he's anchored, whether or not we'll spend the night here. Um, if he's on a single hook further out, then we'll tuck in real close and put two hooks out. Um, this is like some of my favorite type of sailing, just like really calm, really slow. You're not in a hurry to get to the anchorage because you know you get plenty of daylight and um, just peaceful and quiet. I love it so much, so fun. So yeah, there's, um, I'll show you guys Doctor's Cove and then you'll see the big mooring field for <clears throat> Emerald Bay um, just to the left in the frame. <clears throat> Time to creep her in and uh, get a closer look. too tight in there with that boat and there's some like dive rings out and where I would want to like drop the hook and pay out to is kind of like too close to like that other boat and the dive ring I could do it but I hate it when people anchor close to me and they're already there so I give them that anchorage for the night and not crowd them you know that's good anchoring etiquette also like in the books it also says like that anchorage is really only good for like I guess you could get a couple boats if you were buddies and you don't mind being close, but yeah, if those dive rings weren't out, then I wouldn't mind. But where I'm at, where I would have to put my stern setup is like right where those dive floats are. That's cool. I've been there before. I've, I've scuba dove there when we anchored here at Emerald, but um, yeah, we're gonna move on to Big Geiger and Little Geiger and see what the uh, see how crowded it is over there. We already killed the engine. Got the sails out. Beautiful day. There's a powerboat over in Big Geiger and looks like there's a powerboat in Little Geiger. We're gonna go check out Big Geiger, see about dropping bow stern over there and uh, spending the night there. New spot. It's been a lovely little sail. And um, yeah, excited to see what this anchorage is about.
wait. Okay, we got all anchored, got our stern line out right up to the rocks here at Big Geiger Cove. Never been here, put up our new sunshade, which is nice. Here's a beautiful motorboat here. There's the landing. I will sit on anchor for about an hour before I leave the boat, make sure that everything's happy. Anchored in 20 feet of water, five scope out, and uh, I love anchoring in shallow water. It's so nice. It's, it's so chill. There's no kelp or anything. This place is supposed to have good holding. And I rode our stern anchor out to point us into the swell. So should have a peaceful night. Seems nice. So now I'm gonna make some lunch, do anchor watch, and then go ashore and see what's happening up that way. Let this pup stretch his legs. Big Geiger Cove, Catalina Island. Little tree house, kids only. I was gonna hang out, but gotta follow the rules, you know. This way, cowboy dog. Easy little hike up above the anchorage. This place is cool, it's a good spot. Um, the club members that are staying here on that Grand Banks were nice, came over, welcomed us, you know. No issues going ashore and hiking out, so that's cool. Sometimes that's not the case at these like private leased spots on Catalina, so that was nice. We hiked out, hiked up, just go for a walk on this road and check out the ocean views. I think this is Howland's Landing. Not a lot of people in the moorings. Seems like people on shore though. A lot of little Hobie cats out there. I don't know if it's a race or they're just having fun. Little Geiger Cove, that place is incredible. Look at that. Enough room for one boat, maybe two. If there wasn't somebody on Boring, you could maybe uh, anchor there. But a cool little nook. And then I guess further up is Eel Cove. Um, looks pretty exposed. And then if you keep hiking on this road, eventually you'd run into two harbors.
this is Eel Cove. But I'm not sure if it's this one or that one. I think it's this one. Looks sandy from above it when we hiked. I looked down in here and it looks, and one of the uh, cruising guides I use says that you can anchor here if everything else is full. Seems like good sand, not much kelp. I think it would offer about the same protection as to where I'm at. You would just want to anchor like bow stern with your bow pointed into the swell. Pretty, pretty deep. Wow, this is pretty deep actually. turn back I didn't know those these sea caves were here those would be so cool to snorkel in one of them sounded really deep you could hear the like bass sound beautiful out right now. The water is so clear. Saw this giant bat ray like swim directly into the boat a second ago. It's really nice, really nice. It's nice to be in an anchorage that's not like blasted with wind like Cat Harbor just got hammered every single day. <clears throat> so it's very pleasant to have like afternoon sunset time just be mellow and even I can see texture on the water out there I think this cove is just pretty well protected from it one thing I'll say about this anchorage though is that all day long since I got here there was like fast power boats at least two or three of them zipping back and forth with like inner tubes with um dragging kids on the back um they're all just having fun but so and it didn't didn't disturb me i'm far enough away but there was like wake after wake after wake but again it was like is not that different than the swell but something to know you know not not necessarily a quiet anchor. there's a lot of boat traffic because the isthmus is just around the corner so especially people running back and forth from emerald to the isthmus feel very fortunate that this is my life. It's so beautiful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. 
Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time.